On July 2nd, 2024, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre toured the west coast of the island to assess the damage caused by Hurricane Beryl. Soufre experienced the full force of the storm surge from major Hurricane Beryl. Dangerous waves smashed through businesses and homes along the waterfront, leading to widespread damage. The Prime Minister joined Honorable Emma Hippolyte on the ground in Soufre to get first-hand accounts from affected residents and the business community. As you know, these are structural problems. My issue is it could have been worse. We had no loss of life, so we just say thank you. We just thank the Almighty. We sit down and we plan ahead and we reconstruct. The engineers and technical persons will be seeing what has happened there. And you can never protect yourself fully um, against um, nature. But yes, I'm hoping we do certain things differently. Um, one of the things that we noted, the stones over, the stoneworks at Barron Drive seems to have protected the community a bit. So we are hoping that we can do a lot more of that along the entire waterfront. That's a huge cause that was not part of the original project, but we have to do what we have to do. Honorable Hippolyte expressed confidence in the capacity to rebuild, with Prime Minister Pierre's unwavering determination in leading the recovery effort. The waterfronts, two jetties were destroyed, and the beach park also sustained significant damage. In the Barron's Drive community, many boat owners lost their boats and their means of livelihood. We are going to rise from the ashes as the Phoenix. Soufre has a reputation of standing firm. I am happy that the Prime Minister is here. My DR was here at 7.30 in the morning with me in solidarity, and I thank her for that. The chairman of the Sufre Foundation was here. The chairman of the SMMA was also here. And it was gratifying to note that those persons who have some form of responsibility to the community were all rallying together. We had people from the Ministry of Health there. We had people from the SMMA who was there as well. And I felt in as much as things are difficult as it is, we have the propensity to rise. The damage from the storm surge forced operations at the Soufre police station to be temporarily transferred to the nearby Soufre fire station. From our police perspective, we are continuing to operate as normal. However, due to the inaccessibility of the waterfront habitat, we have to relocate to the Soufre fire station. So anyone who wishes to make care of to the police at this time, Turn here to the fire station for four tonight, nine one one nine 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 line, and they will get access to our police of the seventy room, and they will be deployed. We might go to the white voice. So we are operational, and we are successful. The government has activated a post-disaster response operation, mobilizing heavy machinery and the community to restore and rebuild the Sufre waterfront and other affected communities. Efforts are ongoing across the island as district disaster committees report back to the National Emergency Operations Center, or the NEOC, to assess the full extent of damages. This information will enable the government to implement effective measures for recovery and support.